In version 25.5 of Premiere Pro, there are now over 90 new effects and transitions built into Premiere. So now there are many different ways that you can stylize your videos and create fast text animations. Let's jump on in. And by the way, welcome to my new office, the wonderful outdoors. This is pretty awesome. So up until now, normally you would do logo reveal animation inside of After Effects because let's be honest, it's a more powerful tool for motion graphic animation. Or of course you could use Mogerts or motion graphics templates to create logo reveals inside of Premiere Pro. But now there are all sorts of smart tools and text animation transitions that you can use to animate your logos, videos, and text directly in Premiere Pro and they're all GPU accelerated, so you don't even have to render. And also a fun fact, all of these transitions are from Film Impact. That's right, Adobe acquired Film Impact, so now all their effects and transitions are built into Premiere Pro for free. No need for an additional subscription. Awesome. All right, so here in my timeline, I have my Gal logo, and it's just a static, PNG file, no animation. But let's use these new effects to quickly animate it. So there are two places to apply these effects. Of course, you can go to the effects panel and you can search for all these effects and transitions. But you can also go to window and extensions film impact dashboard. And I actually prefer this because it actually shows what all the effects and transitions look like that will give you basically a preview, which is I think more useful. For this, let's go to the animation category and let's select the logo in the timeline. And then we can apply any one of these here. How about let's try the travel motion effect. So let's click apply and let's play it back to see the result. We can also customize it. So let's go to the out animation here. Let's select it in the timeline. And then from effect controls, what if we want to reverse it so that way it goes down? So just check that to reverse it. And now we can select the beginning transition. And then from effect controls, how about let's try the surprise me button to see what other types of results that we can get. Now you can grab the end of the transition and you can adjust the length of the beginning and the end. That's how you can change the duration or how quickly or how slow the transition is. And after we do that, there's now space to add a really cool light sweep transition. So what we're gonna do is select the clips and we're going to nest it as one clip so that way it's easier to apply. And now we can make a cut point after the animation and then we can select the layers and apply a light sweep transition. And to add the icing on the cake, we can search for a sound effect that's like a shine or a shimmer sound effect. And then we can drop it in the timeline underneath the light sweep transition just to make it extra sweet. And this is what it looks like. And let me show you one more super useful transition. It's called motion tween and I use this all the time. Even my editors who are editing this video can say how much they use it in our videos, right? <laughs> okay, so I have a new sequence here with my logo in it. And to make an animation, I'm just going to make two cuts. So that way my logo is broken up into three separate sections. So for the first section, I'm going to select it and then go to effect controls and make it smaller. Then let's go and search for motion tween. And let's drag it on the front of this first clip. And by default, it's just a fade, but let's choose a preset. How about easy pitch? Now I think that looks pretty cool, but let's also ease out a bit more so it's a little bit smoother. You can always customize. You have so much control using effect controls. All right, so now on to the second section here. Let's select it, go to effect controls and make it a bit bigger first. And then let's apply another motion tween. And this time let's do an accelerate roll preset. And this is what it looks like. And then sometimes you just wanna take the logo and move it up to the corner because let's say you have a video coming in and you don't want the logo to get in the way. So what I'm gonna do for this third section is actually select motion from effect controls and then use these transform controls to just move the logo over into the corner of Premiere Pro. And now all we have to do is apply another motion tween at this cut point 
And then let's choose another preset. How about the easy accent? And here's the result. And I want to note here that you can apply Motion Tween to more than just image files. You can apply it to videos and text elements as well. I only showed you three effects so far. Let's show you more. But first, I'm Kelsey. I'm the creator of Premiere Gal, and I post these weekly tutorials to help you create better content. And while we primarily use Premiere Pro, we also do tutorials in After Effects and other non-Adobe mobile editors as well. We listen to what you guys want to learn, and we post it here here on YouTube. And we wouldn't be able to make this content for free without the help of our sponsor. And today's sponsor is Envato. And me and my team have been using Envato for years and years and years. They have over 23 million creative assets. So we use their stock video, sound effects, music, video templates. And this year they added a bunch of Gen AI tools so you can generate music, voiceovers, videos, and much more. And I forgot to mention that the best part is is that you can get unlimited downloads for one affordable price. And this month, until September 30th, you can get unlimited video generations with your subscription. Freaking awesome! I actually made two videos on how to utilize their video and image generation tools. One is called a night to day transformation. And the other one is a fast weather warp transition where you can go from summer to winter using stock video clips. It's pretty cool. And I'm gonna put a link to these videos down in my description box below. I also want to know that they add thousands of new assets to the platform each month. And I like to feature my new favorite template and I add it to a collection. And this month, it's a new template. It's called a Match Cut Creator Template for After Effects. And with this Match Cut Template, you can create so many different looks. You can simply open the template, replace the keyword, update the filler text, change the colors, and then you're done. You can use my affiliate link down below to sign up for an Envato subscription. And don't forget, you can take advantage of their unlimited video generation deal, which lasts until September 30th. Thanks so much, Envato, for supporting this channel. And now let's show you some more built-in Premiere Pro effects. All right, now let's show you a typewriter and transition scene. So let's use the type tool here to type out any text that you want. For example, let's type out chapter one. And then we can use the properties panel here to update the font and align the text to the center. Now we can go to effects and let's search for typewriter. And now we can drag this typewriter transition to the front of our text here. And we can make it faster by dragging it in. And if we drag it out to make it longer, the typewriter effect will be slower. Let's go to Envato and search for a typewriter sound effect. I like this one. Let's download it. And now we can place it on our audio track in the timeline. I also downloaded some crafty paper texture and some documentary music as well. So let's go ahead and drag this craft paper texture under the title text. I'm also going to use Lumetri Color here to add a vignette around the edges of the paper texture. And then if you wanna make the text pop a little bit more against the background, you can search for the drop shadow effect and drop it onto the text. And you can make some adjustments with effect controls here to make it stand out. And let's also drop down our music. So if this was the beginning of a documentary, you would want to transition from this title to the first video shot, right? So let's go ahead and let's select the crafty paper and the text layers together, right click here and make it one layer. So now it's going to be easy to transition from this one layer to our first video clip of the documentary. So let's drag in the video here next to our nest, go to the film impact dashboard, and there are so many transitions to choose from here, but the one that I really like is part of Smart Tools, and it's called Motion Camera. I just really like how seamless this transition is. So let's select our two clips and hit apply. Now the default result looks really good as you can see, but you can also play around with any of these parameters to make your own changes manually, or you can hit the surprise me button until you get a result that you like. So if 
the surprise me button works well, you can actually save this as a preset so that way you can use it in the future. So that way it's not just like a random surprise me that you lose in the future. You can use it as a preset now. And here's the final result. If you want more videos showing you how to use these new awesome effects and transitions in Premiere Pro, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I've been manifesting this for years. I've been using Film Impact since 2017, and I always knew that these transitions and effects should be built in, and hey, now they are, which is so awesome. And before the acquisition, I actually made some videos about Film Impact, specifically Shape Flow. If you wanna go check out that video, you can watch it right over here to see the power of just this one effect that you now have access to for free. That's all for today's video. And as always, keep creating better video with a gal. See you next time. Bye. Woo!